Hi, it's Bishop Frank, and I want to give you a drive-by message today. And the message is about the shift that's taking place in what is called the ecclesia. The ecclesia is the church, but the church has two parts to it that we have to understand to really understand where what God is doing right now. And the word ecclesia means the called out ones, but in its context, ecclesia was in the Greek city-states like Athens or some other city-state in Greece. There were those among the citizenry that were called out to govern the citizenry. And this is what we're talking about. We are part of the ecclesia that are called out of the world to become a part of the body of Christ. But then there's an ecclesia inside the ecclesia that is called out to govern the ecclesia. So that it's the apostles, prophets, the teachers. These are basically the governors, the fivefold ministry, uh, the evangelists, the pastors. We, these are the governors of the body of Christ. And they are governing the, the body of Christ like a captain run you know uh, has a ship uh, like a general leads an army like the president or a king and so we're governing but we're not governing in the way that the world governs Jesus said that's not the way for you to govern you're not to govern like the world does by lording it over the people in fact in Revelation it says uh, Jesus speaks and says I I, I, I I hate the doctrine of the Nicolaitans and the word Nicolaitan means the rulers of the laity and this is what we have in the church today we have the separation of clergy and laity and they rule over people this has been going on since uh, the Roman change in the around the fourth century when the church stopped being what it was and it began to become the politicized religious institution that it has existed as over these 2,000 years almost so there's a shift taking place. It's a shift in the ecclesia, meaning there's a shift. We're shifting from church as usual. Church as usual, which we're going to call Church 52. 52 weeks a year, every Sunday, church as usual. Same thing, same thing all the time. Same old, same old. And we are so tired of church as usual. And Christ is tired of church as usual. He wants to move into a different uh, level, a different vision. And we're going to call that Kingdom 365. Kingdom Living 365 days a year. Now I'm going to be speaking about this at the next Metro Apostolic Network meeting on February 7th in Newark, New Jersey. And that's going to be our, our theme, is the, the shift from Church 52 to Kingdom 365. But I want to tell you one of the things that's going to take place prophetically in this shifting that has been going on already for a while, but it is now becoming a major part of what's taking place in the body of Christ. And that shift is producing something. It's producing change in people's lives. And those who are changing are going to see tremendous blessings and benefits in their churches and in their ministries. And those who don't change, those who hold on to church as usual, those who hold on to ruling the laity, those who hold on to not allowing the body of Christ to minister, those who have such tight reins on the government of the church that they're choking everybody and they're not allowing for spiritual growth among the people, something is going to happen. Judgment is going to begin to fall in the house of God. See, God is going to bring judgment in the nations also at one time. There'll be a judgment between goat nations and sheep nations. And thank God America is on its way to becoming a sheep nation again because for the past 16 years, 20 years or so, we've been going towards that goat nation uh, position with the anti-church and anti-godliness that America has been in. But now we're going to move back into a sheep nation. What's going to happen is those leaders in the body of Christ, the shift that is taking others to glory, to others to moving in the power of God, is going to bring death to others. Ministries are going to fold. Churches are going to fail. Pastors are going to walk away. Many of the larger mega churches, many of the larger ministries, many of the well-known ministries are going to fall apart. They're not going to change in this shifting that God is doing, and so there's going to be consequences. And judgment, before it ever hits the world, the Bible says, judgment must begin at the house of God. The Word of God says if we would judge ourselves, then we would not be judged. I don't want to be judged by the Lord and be found lacking and wanting. I don't want to be found in that position. I want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. So I'm going to judge myself. I want to make sure I'm in the move of God. I'm allowing God to move. Our church is governed in, in an apostolic way. My ministries are governed in an apostolic way. We raise up leaders. We raise up people to work as teams. And it's a tremendous difference from what the world sees in its usual patterns. And so that's what we need to do. We need to move along with what God is saying and doing and allow change to take place. And those who don't allow the change to take place are going to become victims of the change itself. And they're going to fall apart. So don't fall apart. 
If you're a minister, let the change take place. I, I encourage you, go to my website, frankdupre.com, read some of the articles I've got there. Go to our new website, metroapostolic.com, and you'll see that's our new website for the network. And uh, I encourage you, if you can, get to the meeting, February 7th in Newark, New Jersey, 70 South 8th Street. Just go to our website and you'll find the address on there and the time, 7 o'clock, first Tuesday of the month, every month in Newark, New Jersey. We're also meeting, uh, we have meetings in Brooklyn at times, down in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're also beginning to uh, work with people down in Charlotte. We're working with some some people in Pakistan, others in Nairobi, Kenya, and God is just moving tremendously in the network. We thank God for what he's doing. I've just got to check and see if my bank is open. But hey, amen, you could take this to the bank today. God is doing something. There's a shift taking place, and may you be on the right side of the shift in Jesus' name. God bless you now.